Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about mirror method. In this video, I will be talking about the update method. So while we discussed uh, mirror method, I told you that it is used to read the content of the hardware register. And if we are giving UVM check over there, then it will compare the readback value of a hardware register with the current mirror value. And if both are mismatch, then it will give the UVM error. On the other hand, this update method is reverse to the mirror method. It is used to perform a write onto the hardware register. Okay, let me show you the literature content for that. Okay, so if we are <coughs> checking the update method syntax, we will find we have to define the update method like in the parenthesis we have to give the status and the path if we are not giving it will take a default path or we can give uvm front door okay so update method is used to updates the content of the register in the design in the, in the design meaning the hardware register to match the desired value. Okay. Let me show you the code so that you will understand it easily. All the classes are same as we are discussing from last few videos. Let me show you the register sequence. Till this body part it is same. We have to define the status in two variables of desired and preferred value. The size should, should be same as the hardware register. Here I am using a set method. So I hope you remember the set method is used to set the desired variable of a register model. Okay. So the syntax for that is register block dot register instance register block instance dot register instance dot set. In the parenthesis we have to provide the value so that this 10 will be there in the desired variable of a register model. Okay, so the set method won't perform any transaction on the hardware model, hardware register, remember. And it is used to set the desired variable only, not mirrored variable. So after that, if we are getting the desired variable and mirrored variable using get and get mirrored value you will find that this desired value will be 10 whereas the mirrored value will be 0 let me show you the result for that so after set method the desired value will be 10 and mirrored value will be 0 it means that the set method is used to update the desired variable of a register model not the mirrored value. After that, the update method is there. So syntax for that is register block instance dot register instance dot update. And within parenthesis, we have to give a status. And if we want to give the path, we can give UVM front door over. And the interesting point for this is if the desired variable and mirrored variable both are not equal then this update method initiate the write operation onto the DUT register or hardware register. If both are equal then it won't perform any transaction on Okay. So let me show you that the desired variable is 10 as the set method is used to update the desired variable whereas the mirrored variable is zero okay 
both are not equal hence this update method initiate a write transaction only after that if we are getting the desired variable and mirrored variable using get and get mirrored we will find that both will be updated to 10 because the desired and mirrored variable are not equal so it perform the write transaction on dut and any transaction on dut will update the desired and mirrored variable so if you check the result after update method this info after update method the desired and mirrored variable will be 10 and as both are not equal over here okay this update method initiate a write transaction on du so you'll find the data write message from the driver and this write data is 10 let me show you the waveform for this so if you check the waveform you will find that as the desired and mirrored very variable are not equal because the set is used to update the desired variable of a register model the update method initiate a write transaction on the dut so you will find that the temporary register which is a hardware register contain is 10 meaning a So we'll find that if write enable is high, in the next clock cycle, the register is storing a value a, meaning 10. Okay. So this is what the update method. It is reverse to the mirror winner method. Okay. So the assignment for you guys here. as we know that the set method is used to update the desired variable try to replace this set with this predict method and i hope you remember while we discussed the predict method i told you that predict method is used to update both the desired and mirrored variable of a register model so after predict method you will find both the desired and mirrored value variable will be 10 and both are equal over here this update method won't perform any transaction on the dut so you'll find the waveform will be something like this after predict method first we'll check a predict and then we'll use the update method you'll find the waveform something like this so this register content will be in it don't this update method don't perform any transaction if both the desired and mirrored value variable are equal okay. try that also i'll put a link in the description so that you can go through the code you can play around with this and try this predict will find interesting result okay so with this i hope you have understood the concept of this update method and also i hope you enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you